Welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending July 13th, 2018. You know I like to start these things with a new anime announcement, and we've got three. So let's start off. Uh, first off, if you're a fan of Girls Without Pants, rejoice. Two new Strike Witches anime series are on the way. A new TV series, Strike Witches Road to Berlin, will premiere in two years, take a little while, with the same director and head writer as the previous series. Separately, and we shouldn't be at all surprised about this, a year after that we'll get a show called Idol Witches. That's right, it'll be about girls in the Strike Witches universe that, quote, sing and perform music to protect the smiles of those who have been driven out of their hometowns by the Nuroi, unquote. It was only a matter of time, wasn't it? Anyway, uh, what was the third new anime I mentioned, you may be wondering? An adaptation of the manga Domestic Girlfriend. This is apparently about a young man who's in love with his teacher, then has a one-night stand with a girl his age, he's a teenager, then his father announces that he's marrying the teacher whose daughter is... You guessed it. Anime. Uh, so that is coming at some point, don't know exactly when. Moving on to less creepy subjects. Exciting news for fans of Cowboy Bebop and who isn't. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the series premiere in Japan. And one moment while I realize how old I am. Okay, Funimation will be screening Cowboy Bebop Knocking on Heaven's Door, the movie, in theaters in the U.S. August 15th and 16th. Hooray. It looks like a relatively wide release. There are quite a few screenings near me, for example. Stop by Funimation's site for a theater locator to see if it is near you. <clears throat> but that's not the only film Funimation will be releasing in theaters. They've also picked up the rights for Dragon Ball Super Broly, but that's not coming to our theaters until January. Funimation's also got those sweet, sweet home video rights, so you just know there's a Blu-ray coming. Eventually, sometime, sooner rather than later. Moving on to some more licensing news, actually. A Pony Canyon has confirmed that they will be releasing Sound Euphonium 2 in the U.S. this month. Fans have only had to wait almost two years. Hmm. <clears throat> Hmm, but it's coming. Don't worry. Uh, meanwhile, if you've been destroying portals for the Enlightened or the Resistance, you probably already know that an Ingress anime uh, series was greenlit some time ago. Its website revealed this week that the Ingress anime will premiere worldwide on Netflix because they don't control enough anime, apparently. But at least we'll get it, you know, everywhere all on Netflix. Not a bad thing. Finally, a few anime re-releases worth noting. Right Stuff will be re-releasing -re G Gundam, Gundam Seed, and several Galaxy Angel series on Blu-ray, apparently Blu-ray only, including Galaxy Angel A, Galaxy Angel AA, and Galaxy Angel S. A particular note is the fact that the Gundam Seed release will include both English dubs, the new one from NYAV Post and the old one by Ocean Group. This would seem to, me, to, seem to be in direct response to a fan request at a Gundam panel at last year's Otacon, where that fan asked that the company re-release those dubs where possible for fans of the old dubs. So, if this means anything, make your voice heard when you next go to a convention. Who knows? Maybe it will actually lead to some changes.